I'm Anil Kumar and now it's time to review what we have learned about the compound angle formulas in trigonometry. And in this video, I will also provide you with some links which will help you to do similar practice examples. The question here is, write each of the following expression as a single trigonometric ratio and then evaluate exact value. So we have two expressions here. Right? This is B and let us say this is A. The first one is sine 23 cos 37 plus cos 23 sine 37. The other one is tan pi by 3 minus tan pi by 12 divided by 1 plus tan pi by 3 tan pi by 12. If you recall, the first one is kind of sine A plus B, right? So we can write this as sine of A plus B equals to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. So if you apply this formula, you can actually write all this as a single trigonometric ratio. So sine 23 cos 37 plus cos 23 sine 37 is equals to sine of 23 degrees plus 37 degrees. And that is equals to sine of 23 plus 37 is 60 degrees. Now to evaluate, you can use special triangle, which is your 60 degrees triangle with right angle triangle. So in this triangle, you know, the sides are, let me draw this, so pi by 3 is 60 degrees, that is 90. And the side ratios, as you know, are 1, 2 and square root of 3. So sine of 60 degrees means from here. So this is, I should have written, let me write 30 degrees here. So that we have a triangle, both degrees and radius, correct. So 60 degrees will be opposite over hypotenuse, which is square root 3 over 2. So that is our answer. Let's do the second one now, which is tan pi by 3 minus tan pi by 12 equals to 1 plus tan pi by 3 pi by 12. So this, you will recall, is same as it could be written as tan a minus b, right? So recall the formula for tan a minus b. So tan a minus b is tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a tan b. Is it okay? So it is exactly same. What we can do is we can write this expression as tan of a minus b. a is pi by 3 for us and b is pi by 12. Right? So that could be written as tan of. So it is 4 minus 1. So this 3 pi by 12 or is equal to tan of pi by, when you divide this you get 4, right? Tan pi by 4. And tan pi by 4, you can actually draw your special triangle for tan pi by 4. At times you can use the calculator, right? So we know 1, 1 square root 2 is when these two sides are equal in right triangle. Correct. So you get tan pi by 4, which is here is equals to 1. So the value of this expression is 1. So that is how you can solve these trigonometric expressions. I hope that helps. Thank you.